Let's talk about situations because there's a situation brewing potentially in Los Angeles. Go ahead, con man. Yeah, Lombo, as you do, you come on here, you say a bunch of incredibly smart things, and half of them are just breaking news that no one knows about yet. In last year, that happened when you said that the Rams were shopping Matt Stafford around. Now, obviously, the Rams were in a different place. They went to the playoffs last year. They kind of pretty quickly rebuilt that mm -hmm. Super Bowl team. Do you think there's a chance that this offseason, even though they had success last year, that the Rams will shop Stafford again around? Or do you think that because of how good the team already is again, that they'll keep him and he'll ride out the rest of his contract and then probably call it a career outside of Los Angeles? Well, I think the shopping took place because he had a huge guarantee that was due. And once they guaranteed that money, I think they locked themselves in for two years. But I truly think... Uh, the Rams will be players in a quarterback that McVay likes because I think he knows he needs to set the tone going forward. They signed Jimmy Garoppolo as the backup this year. You know, they've still, they found Stetson Bennett. He came back to the team. So they had him. They drafted him in the fourth round. But my sense of it is, is. Shout out to Stetson coming back. Welcome yeah. back. Shout Stetson. out to Stetson coming back. Stetson. Stetson. Don't rule them out. I mean, this is the perfect time for them to take a quarterback. It would be if they liked one. It would be the perfect time because Matthew's still going to play. We saw last year when he got hurt, they were not very good. And if he stays healthy, they can be an effective team. But I think it's the perfect time for them to take a young quarterback, and that would keep McVay energized. Now, look, they have other needs too, but they've done a good job this offseason of repairing their offensive line. And let's face it, you're never going to, you're not replacing Aaron Donald. So forget about that, forget right? About so, it. you know, forget that moves, that goes without being said. So forget don't count it. him in the gain loss when you go through it because that's going to be a double loss. But I think it's the perfect time for them because they need to have somebody to bridge them to the future. Now, they could wait another year if they thought maybe next year that could happen. But I think McVay's mm -hmm. one of those guys that evaluates all the quarterbacks every year. Look, if you're not evaluating all the quarterbacks in every single draft, and I don't mean just the top three, I mean all of them. If you went into a team meeting, if you, you were a defense coordinator, and you can ask Chuck Pagano this, if you were with Al Davis – and he started asking you about the quarterbacks, and you were a defensive coach and you didn't know about it, you, you were going to get an ass chewing because he wanted you to understand the college quarterbacks because if you were coaching against him in pro, you kind of had a background on what they did. You had to know that. You had to understand that if there's a sudden change. Okay, here comes Stetson Bennett. I, I scouted him. Here's what he's good at and here's what he's not. Boom. I don't have to think about it or I don't be unprepared. And that's why you have to do every quarterback in every draft. We know Stetson. Everybody knows Stetson Bennett. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Stetson Bennett's a dog. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like to raise some hell. Stetson yeah. Bennett raises hell <laughs> down in Athens. He does. Didn't he? He raised some hell. Oh, down. yeah. Raising a lot of hell down there. From what we've heard, Stetson's just good old boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet boy. Not mm -hmm. mean and no harm. Mm -hmm. Having a good time throwing the ball around. Mm -hmm. Loving life, boy. Winning championships down there in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I guess he has a farm, like, not that far out from Athens. And then I guess he was seen at a couple of Georgia football games you know, after yeah. leaving the Rams. Sure. And I don't think anybody at the University of Georgia knew he was coming. He just kind of won't go to the ball game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got tickets, sat in the crowd. Like, I think he is just like one of one uh -huh. from what mm -hmm. we have heard. Great to see him back. Stetson, at it, baby. Hey, baby. Welcome back to football, Stetson. Great to have you, yes. obviously.